I mean, I worked in a movie with Clint Eastwood, and he's listed, you know, as an uh, un, uh, unknown pilot. And it's Clint Eastwood is in the movie. And he's in it, and he's listed as unknown. I mean, it's clearly Clint Eastwood. They still haven't corrected it. Mm -hmm. But this is how it worked. And up until a certain amount of time, I get the god awful amount of westerns, uh, you know, from the 1940s in through the 60s. I mean, I've worked with everybody from Roy Rogers and Gene Autry clean up with Harrison Ford on things. And Harrison Ford basically didn't do anything more than I didn't get credit either. I mean the guy is basically good looking cowboy. I, I filled in for three weeks on the Virginian for a guy that got uh, had a problem. I didn't get credit. They credited the guy, you know, you know, he was listed every week because he was being a salary for doing, like uh, he was there for 40 episodes during the season, which means he came in maybe three times a year. Mm -hmm. And this was the time when they were doing all of his stuff at the same time. Um, I mean, this, I mean, they were still crediting, I think, Charles Bickford as the star of the show, and he died by then, and John McEn John McIntyre's wife, Kate Nolan, was one of the stars. They, she got tacked on to the credits as an afterthought. She's the second, she's the main female lead in the series for four years. They tacked her on the credits as an afterthought because she wasn't important. Mm -hmm. So, but this is how it works. So we, we divest a lot. But, you know, we end up doing some video logs sometimes. I mean, she wants me to do more stuff. I get people ask me to write books. The people I went to school with, were, a lot of them became famous. I went to school with, with brats of, God, they're all old like me. I mean, they uh -huh. really look bad. I mean, you compare a lot of those people to me. I mean, these were good-looking guys when I was young, and now today they look like their, their fathers when they died look better than they do. So <laughs> it was just funny. But um, this thing to say, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be doing more stuff, and we're probably going to be cashing in. You know, if I'm probably. You know, if people start talking to me anymore, we're probably going to start talking back to them, which I shouldn't be doing. But um, there's a lot of things that I did out there that people did with me that are still working today, actually. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when I was young, you'd have never seen a person my age in front of a camera. They just would not. No, know. but they have people like Christopher Lee that are on camera. The day, yeah. I mean. My guess I is, never would have done that 20 years ago, when, even 10 years ago. When Christopher Lee was uh, 60 years old, he'd have never seen anybody in front of a camera this 90s on it. It wouldn't nope. have been done. Uh, that's why uh, uh, I do remember people like um, Dustin. I worked with Dustin Hoffman on a television commercial. And Dustin Hoffman, I remember Dustin Hoffman tended to be a bit of a, he didn't funny guy, but a bit of a snob, you know. And I'm only doing this for the money to sit this way. He does it. They don't do it because it's a career, you know. But I'm, I'm one of the guys in his Volkswagen commercial, which he did Volkswagen commercial. So it's really smiling, and you know, because he needed the money because his, his career wasn't really that good. But um, um, I, I, I can remember Dustin Hoffman saying, "God, when I get to be, you know, the age of that old bat over there." You know, I'm, 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 I'm not going to be acting anymore because that's just too damn old. He said, you know who she is? It's my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And he said, you're still not bad. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't. He was, that was Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. And at the same time, here's a good one. I also met um, Gene Hackman at the same Gene Hackman and, and Dustin Hoffman, I think, were roommates. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And Hackman was a real racer. He also had more unkind things to say about my grandmother than anybody had ever had, you know, you know, because I think she screwed him on a project. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and he, he was still talking to you? Well, he yeah. didn't hold it against me. But he sure did share all his feelings. Uh, he knew it was going to get back to my grandmother. Oh. So, I mean, we're sitting there. I mean, look, okay, what happens is if you're doing something in New York, everybody is around everybody because it's a more condensed community than it is in Los Angeles. So you'd be sitting, you know, uh, at, a, at a, you know, a table, and, you know, that, you know, you just simply, you know, like some guy, um, a big, you know, uh, well, like, for instance, like, Tony Curtis was doing um, a thing back in there, and he just he'd come over, a bunch of guys, you know, he said, hey, you guys mind if I sit down here and eat with you? Because there's no room to go. 
And then they sat there. And they said, you know, I was in this position at your age. And you know what I did when, you know, when uh, Walter Pitches sat down at my table? And they, and they said, what? They said, I went, <laughs> he said, we, he said, we've all that my father knew Tony Curtis a long time ago. They said, you know, him I know, which is why I came over. And he said, yeah, since I've known him, since, you know, uh, like 1947, 1949. He said, and you hear this, you know, who the fuck is he? You know, under quiet. <laughs> and he said, he is the grandson of that woman I heard you both bemoaning about. They said, well, we know that, but <laughs> I get that. Um, we actually get it. Um, who the hell is that person? You know, how in the heck can he, how can he say these things about, and I'll simply tell him, when you've been working, now since 1943, I got it. I've been working. It's a long time. Oh, God, that's almost 70 years now. You are old. I went from 64 years to 70, almost 70 in one night, as my credits started popping up more. But, um, but they, you know, they said when I tell them, when you've been working, you know, like 64 years, when you've done 1,200 things, you've got 60 years in the 3D side. You can tell me you know more than I do. Until then, I know more than you do. So. And I learn all the time. I work in 3D daily. I mean, she basically... We've been posting daily in 3D for... Uh, actually, we have been posting on a daily basis years? for two years. Yeah. We uh, Our first attempt was at the Long Beach Grand Prix two years ago. We did that whole bloody thing in 3D. That was our first attempt. Then we started doing it, you know, after that on a daily basis. And now we're up to 14 hours a day. We're up to 14 hours a week. And it's actually more than that because I, we're, you know, we're getting ready to move stuff from one system to another because she does a whole army of stuff that I never get to see. So, you know, all I know is what I, I get my hands on is about 14 hours. Plus, I do 3D animation. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got right now, you know, it's like we just turning into a video log today, a long piece. But right now, we've got the the bikini. We got the introductory part to the Bikinis on the Ghost Pilot part, which people actually got to see the characters for the first time. Oh, that's true. Uh, for the 4th of July, reciting the uh, Ladies of Allegiance with Chair Dog Flag Course, which we're always going to love. Chair Dog Flag Course, which actually was one of the... That was... An, uh, that was chair, the flag Course came from... Uh, we were going to an event that basically bombed because this, the closing event was being held for a bothered show. But we saw the flags at Pepperdine University. Oh, that was pretty amazing. And we stopped <laughs> to shoot all of the things. Actually, we stopped twice. We stopped. We started. We started. We got it when we went. We got it when we came back. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, and we basically, um, the chair dog used the flags and put a, uh, you know, a chorus to the movement of the flag. Basically, it's just voices. You know, the flags are blowing and the voices are blowing, are drifting with the flags. So it's a chair dog chorus. So we, we do things, you know, like I said, we digress, we go on, 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 on. But this is how we fill out time. Now we've got to get busy on moving our stuff around on the computer. That's true. So we've we got to stop for a while. So until next time, this is Old Camp. And this is not a spring chick. And for more information, you can go to www.auntiebubble.net on the net. And you know, we have an RSS feed on our front page. Yes. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us and our RSS feed, as well as our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million likes. <laughs>